Hi guys, Karen Free Sweat Dad. Thank you so much for joining me today for our core workout where you will need a small mini ball that has some give and a light set of dumbbells. Are we ready to get started? Okay guys, so we're gonna begin on the mat. Let's give the ball a little squeeze and take the arms out. Shoulders come down off the ears. So I want you to think of the inner thighs softly connecting into that ball. Let's scoop the belly so you're gonna make a little C shape. So here's our C curve with our half roll back. And as we exhale, you're gonna flow over that ball. Okay, let's try this again. Inhale to roll back and away. You're gonna feel the connection with the core, the inner thighs against the ball, and come forward. One more time, inhale to move away and exhale. Now, if you're okay here, you can do a little more. You're gonna roll all the way down slowly. Inhale, power the arms up, exhale, flex over the ball. Can we try that again? Slow and controlled, all the way down. Power the arms up, let's go again. Scoop, draw that navel in. Good job, guys, warming everything up. And you wanna really focus here on each vertebrae melting down to the back. Let's go four more here. So guys, modify where you need. I'm gonna give you options. If you don't have dumbbells, you don't have to use them. If you don't have a ball, that's okay too. Two more here. Lifting up, coming over. We have one more here. Are we ready? Slowly rise all the way up to the top, and let's stack. So now we're gonna bring the ball to the small of our back. Option one is no weights. Option two, you're gonna add, I would say two to about five pound weights. Nothing really too much heavier than that. Arms are going to come out, you're gonna go down to a little low V. On the exhale, you're gonna lift up. So scoop that belly into the ball as you exhale, rise up. Initiating through the abdominals first. Can we go for six more here? Six. How are we doing, guys? Waking up. Adding a little spice to our core workout with a mini ball and some light weights. Three more here. Three, two, and one, arms come out, rolling down to the ball. Exhale, bicep curl, let's curl the arms. Eight, and seven, that's it. Fire, fire, everything. Six, five, good job, guys. So this is challenging even without that weight, right? You wanna make sure the form is in line first before you add any load to this. We got two more here, back and curl up. We ready? One more, back and curl. Now hold this back. You're just gonna go biceps. Eight, seven. How are we doing? That core is still kicking in. Five more here. Five, four. I'm feeling the arms, I'm feeling the belly. Two more, two, and one. Let's rise that up, bring the weights to the side. Bring the legs together. Now your heels are gonna come together, inner thighs squeeze. Little bend to your elbow. You're gonna inhale, open the arms. On the exhale, roll the arms in. Inhale, scoop into the ball. Exhale, lift up. Four more here, down. And lift for four. And down. And exhale, lift for three. Two more here, are we ready? Exhale, lift for two. Last one, exhale and lift. Drop the knees to the right side. You're gonna look over the opposite side. You're gonna open the arms and roll up. Open the arms and roll. So you're thinking about the waist here. Four and three. How are we doing? Feel those obliques. Two and one. Little switch. Drop the knees to the other side. Rolling to that ball. Exhale. The waist is lifting you up. Six more here. Six. Five. Four to the end. You have it, guys. Four more. And three. And two. And one, nice job. Let's take that all the way down. We're gonna lower all the way. And what we're gonna do from this position is take the legs to tabletop. You're gonna bring the ball to the ankle. So now you're gonna feel the legs start to shake a little bit. The inner thighs kick in. Keep your load next to you. Your arms are overhead, shoulders are down. Inhale here. On your exhale, you're gonna lift to the curl, gaze to the belly. Slowly lower that back down. Now, if you can, you're gonna come all the way up, lengthen the legs. If that feels too much, keep the knees bent and lower. Can we do four more here? Slowly rise up, we have four. Good, inhale, lower. Exhale, slowly rise up, we have three. Last two here, are we ready? Exhale, two more to the finish, press it up for two. One more here, now hold this one up, just the arms, exhale and pump. Halfway now, pump, draw the belly deeper. If this is too much, the knees are bent in. Four more, and three, little squeeze of the ball, and two, and one. We lower that down, bring the ball to the knees. Good job, guys. From this position, what I want you to do is take one load, 
right overhead. So you're going to kind of hold that weight, one hand on each side of the dumbbell, bring the arms back, shoulders off the ears, on your exhale, squeeze into the ball and just lift up. Lower that back so the knees don't want to move. Exhale, squeeze into the ball, lift up. Lower that down. Four more here. Soft out of the head, lift the shoulder blades off. Four. How are we doing? If this feels too much, you can certainly bring the feet right to the floor. See? A little modification there. Two. Last one, let's hold this one up and you're gonna pulse from the belly and pulse. Eight, seven, and six, and five. Get the shoulder blades up. Four, good. Three, two, and one. Lower that down, I'm feeling that belly now. Okay, let's start here with the legs straight up to the ceiling, flexing your ankles. Option one, hold that dumbbell right to the chest. Shoulders down off the ears, scoop and lift. You're gonna drop down to where you have that imprint, where you have support from the low back, and go into little flutters. Okay, so lower, it's more challenging, but don't let that arch. Let's go, hold. All right, you need a little more. The arms are coming overhead, shoulders down, the belly's pulling in. Let's go, you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, I'm feeling this, two, and one. Hug those knees all the way in. That was awesome, guys. Take the ball back to the knees. Give the ball a little squeeze. You're gonna hold on to both dumbbells in your hands, squeezing through the inner thighs. On the exhale, rise up, draw the belly in, squeeze the buttocks. Okay, so you're working the lower body here. You still got some core involved, right? Because you're working through the abdominals to lift the hips up, staying nice and neutral through the pelvis. Four more here, you ready? You got it, and three. A little lower, exhale, and two. A little lower, can we hold this one up? You're gonna turn the palms in, chest fly, open to the side, exhale, and hug. I'm just gonna move over a little bit. Open the arms, and hug. As you hug, squeeze into that ball, and squeeze into that ball. Four more, open and close, and three. How are we making out, guys? Last two, two, squeezing into that ball, and last one. Lower that all the way back down. I want you to take the ball to the side. Light load or no load coming up for a full roll up. Flex your ankles, ground everything down. If that feels too much or you have tightness, bend the knees in. You're going to use your weights, shoulders off the ears. Make sure your back's not arching. So pull the belly down, lift the arms up. Inhale, start to nod the head. On your exhale, you're going to use your abdominals to stretch and come over. Again, definitely not a heavy load here. Start to lower, lower, lower with control. Good, can we try that again? We have an inhale to slowly rise up. On that exhale, draw the belly in to lift. Stretch over, nice guys, start to roll back down. Each vertebrae melting to the mat. Let's go for three more. Slowly come up to the top. Lift, lift, lift. Stretch over those legs and come down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Coming to the mat. Last two to the finish. Slowly rise up. Exhale. How's that belly feeling now, guys? Come forward, all the way back. You have it, piece by piece. Good job, guys. One more. Here we go, inhale. This time you're gonna come all the way up. Listen, exhale, roll forward. Now stack everything up nice and tall. Palms face the wall in front of you, nice and tall. Shoulder press, eight, and seven, and six. Press to the finish, five. Four more here, four, three, Two, and one, bring that down. Excellent job, holding onto one load. You're gonna face me to the front, making a fist and coming onto that forearm. Rise the hips up to a little plank. Holding the dumbbell on that front arm, you're gonna come up, little pull, and you're gonna rotate the palm toward me. Come right back down, okay? So it's gonna be up, working through the shoulders, working through the back, and of course that core. So option two, if you feel like you can get a little more, I want you to come off that hip. The control, keep the arm close, rotate and open that palm. Press that bottom fist to the mat, pulling up on that low waist. How are we doing, guys? Four more. Pull it up for four. Looking strong. Three. We feeling that waistline? Don't let it sag. Two more. Two. One more. Hold that dumbbell up, hold it to the top, dip the waist and lift. Six and five and four and three and two, and one, lower that, and let's switch. Good job, coming to the opposite side. Making that fist, shoulders down. You start on the knees, right? Lift up that low waist, 
we're gonna roll up, pull, and rotate that pound. Come right back down. Are you ready? Okay, if that feels a little too easy for you today, go ahead, try that challenge of that full side plank. That's gonna really pull up the intensity a little bit. Just make sure you're not feeling into the neck. Keep that control, light load into that top hand. Four more. Three. You got two more for me. Two. One more, everybody hold up. Dip the waist and lift, you have six. And five. And four. And three, how are we feeling? Two. And one, bring that all the way down, awesome job. All right, so what I want you to do now is come onto all fours position, shoulders down off the ears, tuck your toes. Inhale here, as you exhale, scoop the belly, lift your knees two inches off the mat. We're holding that position for one breath, and lower down, you're gonna feel the belly, you're gonna feel the legs. Let's try that again, inhale, exhale, rise up, rise up, hold for one, and then we come down. Now we're adding to that, or you can always stay with that option. Are we ready? Inhaling one. Exhale, draw the belly, hover the knees up. Option one, hold. Option two, the right leg comes up for eight. Seven, that left knee is hovering. Squeeze the glute of that leg, lifting up. Four more. Four, three, how we doing? Two, and one. Come down, switch. Eight, seven, keep the neck nice and long. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. You did it, lower, all the way down to the belly. So the core, as you guys know, is not just our abs, it's also the back. I want you to bring your arms out to make a little T. Shoulders down, anchor the hips and the pelvis. Scoop the belly, lift up. Are you ready? You're gonna start to pulse the arms up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Six, five, four, three, two, Oh, little mini circles, small, small. Keep pulling up on that belly, four, three, two. Can we reverse, opposite, up, back, down, and around. Six, five, four, three, two. Last set, thumbs up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Up and up, let's go here, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo, I'm feeling that back, and one. Guys, I wanna thank you so much. Press yourself back to a little shell stretch. There you have a quick core workout using your mini ball and some dumbbells. Let's press up to all fours, inhaling one. On your exhale, scoop the belly round, and let's just release that. Can we do that one more time? On your exhale, draw the navel up into the spine, and slowly, release. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today for that quick core workout. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and give me your feedback and suggestions. Make sure to also subscribe guys to Work Out and Tell so you can get the latest fitness tips, challenges, and workouts. You guys are awesome. Have an amazing day. I look forward to our next workout. Bye.